cotton pads have two sides, and if you take the time to look at them carefully, they're actually different in texture. Just in case you've ever wondered why, the textured side is for applying makeup, and the even side is for removing it. Bookworms, this one is for you. Dust jackets that come with a lot of hardcover books are not just meant to make your book look pretty, they also double as a bookmark. Just fold the pages you've already read underneath the inside of the jacket, and voila! Next time you reach out for your favorite shirt, take a look at the top buttonhole. It should be stitched horizontally, and all the other ones are vertical. Turns out that the dress shirt was designed this way, since the first and the last buttons were the first ones to unbutton throughout the day. They then changed the direction of the buttonhole to ensure the shirt would stay nice and fitted before you're ready to take it off. These days we have so many variations of this awesome dessert that it's hard to imagine we've ever lived without it. You can find different types of cookie dough ice cream or even chocolate chip cookie cake basically everywhere, but the famous cookie wasn't actually invented until 1930. The story goes that a woman named Ruth Graves Wakefield was preparing some chocolate cookies as she was waiting for some guests to arrive. She soon figured out she was out of baker's chocolate, a crucial ingredient for the classic cookies. To fix things up, she chopped up a block of semi-sweet chocolate, thinking it would eventually spread out evenly throughout the batter, given the heat of the oven. Things didn't necessarily go as planned. But hey, it's great they didn't because this is how she invented this modern dessert we now can't get enough of. And speaking of popular snacks, the potato chip is even younger than the chocolate chip cookie. Well, at least historically. There are many stories trying to explain how it was invented. One of them goes like this. A chef named George Crum, based in New York, put the chips together in 1953. He decided to try a different cooking solution when one of his customers didn't have nice things to say about his french fries. He said they were too thick and kind of mushy. Then, Crum came up with potatoes that were thinly sliced and fried until brown. People absolutely loved the dish, and they welcomed the first ever batch of chips with open arms. Ice cream, anyone? If the story is true, back in 1904 at the St. Louis World's Fair, one ice cream shop owner ran out of cups to serve his dish. So, he fashioned a waffle into the shape of a cone, and the rest was history. Okay, I'll admit it, chewing gum-like treats have been around since the ancient Greeks. So this one isn't particularly a revolutionary discovery, but the actual gum we buy today wasn't there until the late 1800s. An American inventor named Thomas Adams wanted to mix together different chemicals to create rubber. He tried and failed, for that matter, to play with chicle for his experiment, but ended up fashioning this neat treat. They still use chicle to this day to produce most chewing gums. Back in the 1800s, there lived a man named Jean-Baptiste Joly, who worked in the fabric industry as a textile maker. How he came up with this next invention that we use a lot these days has less to do with him and more to do with his maid. The story goes that the woman accidentally knocked a kerosene lamp over onto a tablecloth. Instead of getting upset over the damaged fabric, Jolly noticed that the substance actually made the material cleaner. Figured it out yet? Yep, that's how the idea for the very first dry cleaner popped up. A very neat accident, if I do say so myself. Now this one I loved. Did you know matchsticks were initially called friction lights? Or at least that's how their inventor, a chemist named John Walker, called them back in 1826. He scraped a stick coated in chemicals across his hearth, totally by accident one day, and realized that they ignited and created a spark. Initially made out of cardboard, they were then made using wooden splints and sandpaper. Back in the 1940s, a man named Harry Coover stumbled upon a chemical formulation that seemed to stick to everything it touched. The scientific community at the time didn't look much into it as the formula didn't seem to have many applications back then. It wasn't until 1951 that he looked a bit more into the formula and decided to repurpose it, along with a fellow Eastman Kodak researcher named Fred Joyner. They gave it a proper full name. But you must know it by the shorter version, Super Glue. It also has many uses in security these days that it's hard to believe that we didn't come up with this one on purpose. Back in 1903, a scientist named Edward Benedictus knocked over a flask by accident. He looked down and was amazed to see that the glassware had just slightly cracked but maintained its shape. He was expecting it to break into a million tiny pieces. 
Curious about this hidden feature, he looked into it and figured out what was keeping the glass together was a substance coating the inside of the glass. Ta-da! That's how humanity came up with safety glass. Many shirts have two buttons on the cuffs, but only one buttonhole. So what is the second button for? Turns out you can use it whenever you're wearing a watch, so the cuff is looser. Most clothing items you buy come with a small bag of fabric or a button, or both. Buttons obviously can be used as a replacement if you lose the original ones. Pieces of fabric can be used to patch up a hole, but most importantly, it's a tester. You can use it to test different washing products on it and see what happens to the fabric. Some umbrellas have a tip at the top, and it turns out it's not just a pretty design. When going inside on a rainy day, you should just close your umbrella and tap the tip against the floor to drain the water faster and more effectively. Many backpacks have this diamond with two parallel cutout slits on its front, and it's there for your comfort. You can attach something to it, like a water bottle or shoes. It comes especially handy if you travel somewhere or go hiking, so you don't have to hold your stuff. Okay, the next thing is gear loops. And probably from the name of it, you already have an idea what they're there for. You can strap in some useful gear you need to have with you, like trekking poles or shovels. Some gear will need to be secured to do it. Drop the handle through the loop and rotate it upward. Then, secure it with the elastic hook at the top, and you're golden. On the back of many makeup and hygiene products, you can find this symbol with a marking like 6M, 12M, and 24M. This is the number of months this product can serve after you open it and before you should throw it out. The two sides of a cotton pad are different because each of them has a particular purpose. A cotton pad has several layers to ensure that it's soft, strong, and can absorb liquids. The edge is stitched to hold it all together. The smooth side of a pad is for applying products, like tonics and lotions. And the embossed side is best for cleansing and makeup removal. Also, any pack of cotton pads has those strings on the sides. They're there so you can hang the package somewhere. Then, you can open the package at the bottom, where the perforated line is, and take them out. Did you know that there is an efficient way to pull a thread from yarn? When you pull from the outside, the yarn rolls away, so you need to hold it. However, if you pull it from the center, it will stay together. We're all familiar with staplers, but I bet you don't know all its secrets. Most staplers have a compartment to store spare staples, which can be located either on top or at the bottom. Also, surprise, this metal plate you press staples against can be turned around. This way, the device will be able to staple your documents by turning the metal ends outwards. No need to wonder whether you need to get a smaller or bigger container. Turns out, plastic food containers have volume measurements on their bottoms, indicating how much food they can fit. Ceiling fans come with a small switch on the inside of the blade. You might not have noticed it because it's not in plain sight, so check yours out. This switch allows you to change the direction of rotation. Now, why would you want to do that? The blades of a fan push the air in different directions, depending on the way they rotate. In the summer, you need the air to be pushed down to create the effect of a breeze. In the winter, the direction should be changed so that the air is pushed towards the ceiling. It then heats up before going down the walls. Have you noticed that the gas tank sign on cars' dashboards has a little arrow next to it? Well, this arrow has a purpose. It points at the side of the car where the gas tank is located. It's very useful for forgetful people who constantly wonder where their gas tank is and also for those who drive rentals once in a while. The answer is right in front of your eyes. If you can't find the arrow on your panel, then the fuel hose on the icon indicates the side instead. All car tires have 12-digit numbers printed on them, and they're actually important codes for car owners if they want to get the right tire. The first letter identifies the type of tire, 
P stands for attire for light passenger cars, and LT is for heavy vehicles. Then, the following numbers stand for the width of the tire, its radial, and its diameter. Measuring tapes have that metal stud on the end, which you can use to attach the tape to the surface you measure. This way, you don't need to hold it yourself. But there's also a small slot, which can be used to hang the tape on a nail, again to free your hands and keep measuring. I bet that's not what you imagine when you think of cashews. But a Redditor found them like this in a store in Brazil. It turns out they're not true nuts. Cashews emerge at the tip of a cashew apple. There's a special word for a fruit with a seed inside, a droop. So, cashews are droops, just like almonds and pistachios. Brazil is the homeland of cashews. The tree was brought to India by the Portuguese in the middle of the 16th century, and from there, it spread further to Asia and then to West Africa. Today, these regions are the largest producers of cashews. The biggest consumer is the USA. They get 90% of the world's harvest. Since we're talking about foods, I'll show you a couple more. This, for example, is how pineapples grow. Also, pineapples aren't one of those fruits that grow fast. They take from 16 up to 24 months to grow until they can be harvested. Also, one plant can only produce a maximum of three pineapples during its lifetime. Fun facts, every segment of a pineapple used to be a flower. Have you ever wondered why eggplants are called eggplants? Well, you've probably never seen an eggplant growing, so here's a picture. Now it makes sense, they literally look like growing eggs. Also, eggplants aren't vegetables. Botanically, they're berries, just like watermelons. Also, eggplants aren't only purple. They can also be white, green, and even purple with white stripes. You'll never guess what it is. It looks like a flower bouquet, but it's broccoli that hasn't been harvested. Those flowers are actually edible. Broccoli has been known for at least 2,000 years. It was the favorite food of the ancient Romans but it appeared in North America only in the 1920s. Italian immigrants were the ones to bring it to California and start selling it. Now, the USA is the third largest producer of broccoli, after China and India. And this is what an artichoke turns into if you let it bloom. So, an artichoke is actually an unbloomed flower. It's also one of the oldest foods humans know. Remember that a pineapple takes around two years to produce a fruit and a plant can only carry three pineapples during its life, if you're lucky. An artichoke plant grows 20 artichokes per year. The artichoke is one of the healthiest vegetables when it comes to antioxidants. Here's a photo of a sleeping turtle. Many of them sleep inside their shells. It's an instinct to protect themselves from predators. Still, some turtles can't retract to their shells, so they sleep in positions similar to this one. These animals are active during the day and sleep at night. The amount of sleep a turtle needs depends on the species. It can be from 10 hours to just one. On average, a turtle takes a four to six hour long nap. The most important factor for a turtle when it goes to sleep is to find a safe place. They can hide under leaves or in holes in the ground. Have you ever seen a chameleon's feet? You're welcome. So, those guys have two toes on the inner side of the foot and three on the outer side when we talk about front feet, and it's the opposite for the back feet. Chameleons live on trees, and their feet help them climb better. We all know about chameleons' unique ability to change colors, but they don't change them to camouflage. In reality, the color depends on the chameleon's mood, temperature, humidity, and light. Also, do you know that some of them have tongues that are twice as long as their body? Ever seen a goose mouth from up close? They have teeth, only they're called beaks. Goose are very loyal creatures. It's not a myth that a duckling bonds with the first moving stimulus they see after hatching. No matter if it's a goose, a person, or even just an object, they will stay dedicated to that lucky creature or thing throughout their lives. Geese also mate for life, and they're very protective of their offspring. If they lose a loved one, they mourn them. Also, if a goose in a group gets sick or wounded, a couple of other geese will stay with it to protect and take care of it. This cute little buddy is a newborn alligator. But don't be tricked by its cute appearance. This little dude has around 60 teeth already. Also, it's not the DNA that determines the gender of an alligator. It's the temperature. If eggs were laid when it was hot, male alligators will hatch. 
If they stayed in colder temperatures, then there will be a bunch of females. After hatching, it takes an alligator 10 years to mature. Overall, alligators live around 35 years in the wild. Also, alligators can't live in salt water. Unlike crocodiles, they don't have special glands to excrete salt from their bodies. And this one is a newborn pigeon. I bet you've seen thousands of pigeons in your life, but probably never a newborn one. That's because newborn pigeons stay in the nest for around six weeks, which is longer than any other bird. By the time they're out, they almost look like grown-up pigeons, so no wonder you've never noticed the difference. Also, these guys are possibly the first birds domesticated by people. They are also experts in navigation. They can find their way back home from 1,300 miles afar. It's more than the distance between New York and Florida. It's believed that pigeons have an innate sense of direction. Back in ancient times, pigeons actually delivered mail. You might have noticed that sometimes there are ridges in toothpick tops. It's more hygienic because when you break that off, you can prop the toothpick up on it and it won't touch anything. Another safety feature you'll find, this time in your car, is a tab on your rear view mirror. With it, you can change the position of the mirror so you don't get blinded if there's a car behind you with its high beams on. So this little tab helps you control the glare of lights coming from behind. This feature showed up in the 1930s, but in the early 1970s, it became a part of standard equipment in most trucks and cars. Do you see that tiny hole on your iPhone right next to the rear-facing camera? It's a microphone, and it's there so your phone can record sound as you turn your camera around. Some cables have a thick cylinder towards the end of the cord. It's called a ferrite core or a choke. It's a magnetic iron oxide that stops high-frequency electromagnetic interference. For example, you know that annoying static noise you get if you bring your phone too close to a speaker? This interrupts your call, which is why cable cords with big cylinders are pretty useful, because they prevent these things. Do you know why nearly all luggage bags and backpacks have two zippers? It's way more convenient and easier to open in that way. But not just that. You can also lock these two zippers together to keep the stuff inside your bags safer. You know how toilets at public spots like malls have those big gaps at the bottom? It's primarily for better circulation of air. This type of door also makes it easier to clean the toilet or check if it's occupied if you're standing in line. Other than that, if you get stuck there and the lock gets broken, you still have a way to escape. You can just crawl out. Ever notice those plastic end caps on utility knives? And they also have scales on them, which indicates you may use them multiple times, but with sharp edges. You can separate the blades through these plastic end caps. Then you can move the slider and bring the sharp blade to the front. If you've ever taken a moment to examine a regular grocery cart, especially their fold-out section, you probably notice those metal loops jutting out. They're designed to protect the items you carry in your cart. You can use them to hang bags with soft items. You don't want to accidentally squish with heavier products, like bread, or easily breakable things like eggs. Many coffee mugs come with curved notches on their bottom. When you're washing your mugs, put them against the rack at an angle in your dishwasher. This way, the water won't pool in there so your favorite cup will be completely dry by the time you take it out of the dishwasher. If you're a McFlurry fan, you've probably noticed there's a square hole in the handle of the spoon. It's there so you can attach it to the special machine that mixes the ice cream and your favorite toppings together. The machine has a bar that slips into this square-shaped spoon and then thoroughly stirs it. And you get the spoon so they can minimize the mess during the process. Quite neat, wouldn't you say? A regular milk jug has a dent on one side. Some might see it as a random design decision, but a dent has several purposes. One of them is to get bigger if there's a gas buildup. This happens when your milk is spoiled. So you don't even have to try to check this out. Also, the dent is there so the jug doesn't burst if you accidentally drop it. The dent allows the expansion space that deals with the sudden pressure that happens when you drop the jug. Dental floss. 
Sure, it's important for your dental health, and it's easy to assume what you do with it. But dental floss is great in the kitchen as well, because it's a very precise cake slicer, way better than a regular knife. Most kitchen shears have a serrated opening right there at the center where the blades and handles meet. It's something you can use to trim difficult herbs such as rosemary, thyme, or chives. Because of this opening, you don't need to pick the leaves off by hand, but de-stem them in one motion. The majority of gelatin containers or single-serving yogurts come with a tinfoil lid, and in most cases, you can use this covering as a disposable spoon. Just peel away the covering and after a couple of simple folds, you'll have a perfect little spoon for your midday snack. Those little red spots you sometimes see after you crack an egg are nothing to be worried about. Tiny blood spots can be caused by a small rupture in a blood vessel of a hen as it was laying the egg. Eggs with these blood spots are safe to eat, but that spot can be removed if you want. It won't affect the taste of the egg. Oh, that's comforting. Hidden within the Toblerone logo of the mountain is the image of a bear standing on its hind legs, about to eat that yodeler over there. No, not really. This is because bears are a big part of Bern, one of the biggest cities in Switzerland where the founder created the triangular chocolate tree. Toblerone is also a play on the founder's family name, Tobler, and the Italian word Torone for honey and almond nougat. The space below a cup of noodles is there to protect the noodles during transport. This technique is called a middle suspension. Not only are they protected better in their styrofoam cup, but it also helps those noodles soften more evenly and quickly. Even though you might have noticed that the hole on the barrel of ballpoint pens has no purpose, it does. It's called a venting system, which helps the ink flow more smoothly. This way, an even amount of air pressure is created inside and outside the pen, allowing the ink to flow into the point easily. It's not an accident that soy sauce bottles have two spouts. The sauce is liquid, and it flows out of the bottle pretty quickly once you turn it over. Most Asian food lovers will admit they've spilled it at least once in a lifetime. That's why nowadays, restaurants prefer serving soy sauce in special bottles that have two spouts. This design allows you to control when and how much sauce will come out. Just put your finger on one spout while you pour the sauce through another. If you press your finger tightly to the spout, the sauce will stop flowing, and if you remove your finger, it will flow again. And please do not remove your finger in a restaurant. It will freak everybody out. You've probably noticed that train and bus seats are covered in fabrics with weird patterns. Any idea why? They use these patterns to cover any germs and stains on the seat. Oh boy! The brighter the color and the more patterned it is, the harder it will be for a passenger to notice any stains and get grossed out. Also, the patterns are usually so ugly that no one even wants to look at them for long enough to spot any stains. So yeah, the pattern is there to make you look away, and if you look, to make it less noticeable. No bus will ever have plain white seats, that's a guarantee. The middle tab on soda cans can be flipped around. You can slip a straw in place so you don't have to hold it up your mouth. This stay on tab replaced the pull ring tab created in the early 60s. You remember those, don't you? Those could be quite sharp and easily discarded where they could be a menace for others. Now you can pop your straw straight into one. Also means you can produce some bubbles and make a mess like a three-year-old. Sometimes, when you purchase an article of clothing, you receive a plastic baggie with an extra button and a swatch of fabric. While the fabric is clearly used to patch holes, it can also be used to test the effects of various cleaners on certain surfaces. It's handy, too, to test wash cycles before using them to wash the whole garment. Escalators have those fluffy black brushes for a similar reason that some have yellow lines on their steps to try and deter people from getting too close to dangerous places. People don't always take notice, and sometimes clothing can drape close to the point where the step meets the edge or skirt. The brush is a little barrier to help prevent this from happening. They can also catch bits of fluff and prevent other small things from falling down into the gaps. Those takeaway containers most associated with Chinese restaurants 
are designed to not only carry your food home, but to store it in the fridge. They double as a plate, as you can eat straight out of them and don't have to worry about dirty dishes. Yay! They were actually patented way back in 1894 to transport freshly shucked oysters and were known as oyster pails. They were later adapted to use as leak-proof containers for food. Ever wondered why coins have those little ridges along the edge? It's a leftover from earlier times when they were worth more. Counterfeiters could easily file the edges off to sell as gold or silver coins to make some profit. The ridges were created so it was much easier to tell which of the coins had been altered. It's not needed today, but the coins still have that altered style. All crackers and some cookies have holes to make sure the final product has the right texture. These teeny tiny holes allow steam to escape, so your crackers and cookies won't snap. If it weren't for these holes, also known as dockers, steam would build up inside the treat, and the final result might have been scrumptious, but it would have been rather oddly shaped. Dogs like to walk in circles before snoozing because they inherited this behavior pattern from their ancestors. There were no special doggy beds back then, so most pooches would have to push down tall grass to make a sort of snoozing spot. Plus, as a bonus, those movements scared off all the critters lurking in the vegetation. Donuts are ring-shaped for a similar reason. If they hadn't had holes right in the center, the dough there would have always been undercooked. By the way, they're often associated with the police, because back in the 1950s, donut shops were among the only places open late. They were a perfect place for police officers to grab something to eat and even deal with some paperwork during the night shift. Your jeans are blue on the outside and white on the inside because of a smart way to weave the fabric. The warp thread is dyed, while the weft thread has no color. It's just white. This way, manufacturers reduce the amount of dye needed for each piece of clothing. And they're still dyeing to make the jeans. Road and construction workers are usually dressed in orange because the bright orange hue is visible even in bad weather. It's the most effective color to attract attention and alert people. No wonder lots of safety jackets and traffic cones are orange as well. The stop sign has an eight-sided shape to help drivers recognize it easily, even if they see it from the back. And when the signs weren't reflective yet, the octagon shape prevented drivers from confusing the stop sign with any other at night. The rumble strips on the side of the road are placed there to alert drivers who doze off behind the wheel. When their tires move over these strips, the noise and vibration work like an alarm clock. There are magnetic locks on fuel hoses at gas stations. They come in handy if someone drives away with the gas nozzle still attached to their car. In this case, the lock detaches the hose automatically. Oh, that's embarrassing. Gasoline looks like a rainbow in a puddle because it can't mix with water. It forms a thin membrane over it. When light reflects from it and the water at the same time, you've got a rainbow. A triple handle on a jerry can is there to make it easier for two people to carry it and distribute fuel evenly. Gas cans often have a second hole that actually needs to be uncapped too before you pour the gas. The air passage will prevent it from pouring out, so no more fuel waste. Most gas cans have two holes with caps, a bigger and a smaller one. You're supposed to uncap the smaller hole before pouring gas inside the bigger one. It'll prevent the liquid from glugging and spilling all over your clothes and the ground. Another little thingy we often neglect is a point on an ointment cap. Most tubes are usually sealed with a plastic film or a foil, and opening it with your fingernails isn't the best idea. A point easily opens even the most safely sealed tube. You can use most screwdrivers together with a wrench to create more torque. Just place the wrench over the handle of the screwdriver. This way, you'll need to apply a lot less force than before. You'll also be able to get to hard-to-reach areas more easily. They install cameras in shops, banks, and hospitals to monitor everything. If something happens, you can call the police or rescuers. The camera really helps to solve a lot of problems. Why are there no cameras on planes? The crew keep order on the plane, but they won't be able to do anything if something serious happens. Besides, there's nowhere to run on the plane. During the flight, the cameras are useless, and after the flight, the words of the passengers work ideally instead of cameras. 
So, if cameras do no good, then why spend money on them? Water is great at cleaning stuff because it has triangular molecules. They're made of one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms. Um, H2O? Such molecules have slightly different charges on their opposite sides, pretty much like magnets. That's why water easily sticks to other molecules, including those that make up dirt. Lots of private houses have triangular-shaped roofs because this allows rain, snow, and fallen leaves to slide off the slope. If all this stuff piled up on top of your house, one day your roof would collapse. When a storm is coming, clouds seem to turn dark, but it's just an illusion. Thin clouds on a sunny day let the light through easily. They also scatter all the colors of the light spectrum. This makes us perceive the clouds as white, but the thicker the clouds are and the more water droplets they contain, the less light they let through and the darker they look. A good doorknob is the one made of brass, bronze, or some copper alloys. These metals have an anti-germ effect. Bacteria spread way slower on them. They also get rid of germs pretty fast, within a couple of hours. Nope, it doesn't mean you don't have to wash your hands. Diamonds have such symmetrical shape to show you their brilliance. Initially, the gems aren't so beautiful. They go through several stages of cutting, and then become pieces of elegance. Most of these stones have a round shape with slightly pointed corners. Diamonds shine the brightest in this shape. Why are there two holes in the socket? The left hole is neutral, the right hole is not, and the gap underneath is ground. Electricity needs to flow through the chain. The current flows from the hot slot, passes through your phone charger, for example, and then goes through the neutral hole. Ever wondered what that small pocket on your jeans is for? People used to wear watches on chains. That small pocket was meant for it. Now, almost no one wears such a watch, but the pocket remains. You can still keep something small in there, like a ring. In London, there are some poles that look like street lamps, but there are no bulbs. Well, their official name is stink pipes, and they're a thing of the past now, but they used to come in handy back in the 19th century. These hollow poles would vent away the air and explosive gases with bad smells to prevent, shall we say, unwanted consequences. Most kitchen shears have metal plier-like teeth in the middle. Between the handle grips, they can help you crack nuts, crab shells, and other tough products. You can also open jars and bottles or remove herb stems with their help. Leather often looks dull to the eye because it's covered with itsy bitsy scratches and scrapes. They scatter the light that hits the material. When you coat your shoes in a layer of wax, you fill these tiny crevices. The surface becomes smoother and the rays of light bounce off it more evenly. That's why the leather looks shiny. Highlighters are filled with a special semi-transparent fluorescent ink that can glow in dim light. Yellow and light green hues are the most popular because they don't prevent you from seeing the text after black and white photocopying. Photocopiers perceive yellow and light green marks as very pale and don't print them. They make magnets shaped as a horseshoe because this increases the magnetic force. Colors matter too. The blue part indicates the south pole, the red part, the north pole. The two poles work simultaneously and increase the attraction force. Okay, I know it's kind of cold to the touch, especially on a freezing winter's day, but did you know that brass doorknobs actually serve a purpose apart from looking classy and shiny? Since it's a copper alloy, brass has antimicrobial properties. That means it can help get rid of harmful germs and bacteria, sometimes in up to two hours. In high traffic areas, that's all the more useful, but since brass is much costlier than other metals like nickel and steel, you barely see these types of doorknobs anymore nowadays. Speaking of lovely multi-purpose items, most screwdrivers have a tiny little secret of their own. They can sometimes be slid through a wrench so that they can be used to create more torque when twisting, not to mention the uses when it comes to bolts in hard-to-reach places. There's a reason why buttons on women's shirts are for the left-handed, and it has nothing to do with fashion. This practice dates back to the times when chambermaids were helping ladies dress themselves, and it was easier for them to perform their job with this orientation. Having the buttons placed as such indicated a sign of wealth, so it's easy to imagine why the practice carried on, even though most people dress themselves nowadays. Next time you receive a package in your mail, take a look at your box cutter. If it features some diagonal lines on the blade, you're in for a little design perk. 
Turns out that these are blades that snap off. Continuously cutting cardboard can dull the sharp edge of the blade. To help prevent the need to buy a brand new box cutter, the top segment along the next line can be broken off to reach a new sharp edge. To do this, check out the small hole at the base of the tool, sometimes called the blade snapper. The people that first came up with this brilliant invention were engineers inspired by the way chocolate bars are segmented. Hold on a minute, don't throw away the cardboard package just yet. Most likely, you'll have some silica gel packets somewhere at the bottom of the box. Since this gel is basically a drawing tool, it gathers up the moisture out of its environment, so you can store these packets for further occasions. Whether you'll need to dry out your phone or some other electrical object, you can place them in a container next to the silica gel to reduce the damage. You don't have to be a mechanic to know when a standard car tire needs replacing, since they come equipped with a neat indicator. Take a closer look, and you'll see that treads within the tire are a bunch of rubber notches. When the treads are evened out with the perpendicular bars, it's a sign you need to book an appointment with your local car service. Since most likely the tires have lost most of their traction and may not be safe for driving any longer. The upper corners of a car windshield feature textured black dots melted into the glass edges. This neat add-on isn't there for design purposes. It's called frit glazing which means that a special type of ceramic paint is added to the window for protecting its sealant from UV rays. It also conceals and creates a coarser surface for the adhesive used to set the window in place. Whenever you're up for a drive, check out if there's a small tab under your car's rearview mirror. Bet you didn't know it's there to help switch the mirror from daytime to nighttime views. It uses a prismatic glass technology to blur the reflection and reduce the glare of headlights behind you in traffic. People came up with these manually tilted mirrors in the 1930s, but they became standard somewhere in the 1970s. While you're in the car, check out the headrests, as you most likely don't know that they carry a little disguised purpose. Of course, they're adjustable to accommodate passengers of any height so that they get the proper support for their heads and necks. The hidden feature is that they are detachable and come with two very solid metal bars. Should you ever find yourself stuck in a car and need to make a fast getaway, these bars come in handy to crack out the car windows. So you're out for a drive and you're suddenly out of gas. What I'm about to describe sounds more like a meme than an actual situation bound to happen. But what if you're in such a hurry that you accidentally drive off with the gas nozzle still in the tank? Well, the nozzles have been designed to prevent any hazards from happening, rest assured. They feature a breakaway device that will allow the hose to separate when taken out with enough force. Initially designed in the early 20th century to be worn exclusively by basketball players, sneakers soon became one of those fashion fundamentals similar to jeans and leather jackets. If you take a closer look at them, you'll see they have two extra holes on the side, similar to the shoelace holes. They're manufactured as such not only to provide extra ventilation, but to allow people to get extra creative with their laces when wearing the shoes. Admit it, you've always thought that chopsticks are merged at the end for the sole purpose of keeping them together until you're ready to dig into your meal. That may or may not be the whole truth. Under a more detailed inspection, the wooden tools feature a square-shaped end. Chopsticks manufactured like this date back to an old Japanese traditional design, which can help with breaking the ends easily. The separated end can then be used as a resting block for the chopsticks to keep it more sanitized in hopes it can be used again, since they won't be touching the table or any other surface. Women's bikes have a special design which, surprisingly, has a historical and fashionable purpose. The lower frame is for the most part meant to make up for the generally shorter height of ladies, compared to that of the average gentleman. While that is the case for handlebars and saddles, the overall frame is lower for an additional purpose. Way back when women wore long skirts and dresses all day, every day they needed to make sure their outfits wouldn't get caught in the frame. That's how we came up with a lower framed bicycle, perfectly made for women and their needs at the time. The fact that toothpastes are multicolored is not just a nice perk to make dental hygiene more fun. There's a secret meaning related to each of the colors, which dates back to the 1970s. In those days, people grew more and more interested in their oral health care, and as such, they were looking for products which could do more than merely clean their teeth. One company was the pioneer in that regard, 
adding mouthwash to its toothpaste, meaning the blue strip. They later added on the red strip, meant to feature ingredients which helped with gum care. Speaking of toothpaste, check the cap next time you open a new tube. You may be in for a little surprise. There's a pointed cone shape inside the cap, so you can puncture the seal of the toothpaste without cutting yourself or ruining your manicure. Not to mention, it's more hygienic since you won't be able to transfer germs or other bacteria into the product itself. On the subject of bathroom countertop items, toothbrushes come with a neat add-on hidden in the bristle patterns. Apart from making the toothbrush look cooler, they also do come with a practical purpose. Most toothbrushes come with a pattern of blue bristles intertwined with white ones. The blue dye is meant to fade out, signaling the time when you need to replace your toothbrush. Dentists say that toothbrushes should be replaced every three to four months, but it does serve as a great reminder in case you forget. Still love playing with Lego? Don't judge. Hey, it's a great hobby for all ages. Notice there's a hole on top of the Lego heads? Behold, you're looking at a safety feature that the people at Lego designed to prevent choking hazards. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.